Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice, and welcome to our daily reading. Regardless of when you find this message, it's timeless, and whenever you come across it, that's when you're meant to. Technically, this is the last day of 2023. So let's see what the day holds for us. What do we need to know? Thank you all for another year together. Hopefully we have many more to come. Reading and learning and growing <laughs> together and being kind to e each other and ourselves. So happy new year to everyone. Let's see what's going on for today for my subscribers, my viewers, whoever needs to receive this message. And I thought it would be fitting to do the last reading of the year with the traditional Rider weight. I've asked my uh, my bonus sister, Hi Rocks, if you're watching, who's an artist, to uh, give some give some people some clothes <laughs> so that we don't get flagged by YouTube. I don't I don't like having to paint or draw over my cards. I have very strong opinions about it. However, I also want to use the cards, so it's one of them. But she made them look very cute. I don't know if any of them are going to come out, but just take my word for it. Oh, sorry. One sec. Sorry. <laughs> um, Oracle deck. Oracle energy and advice for my subscribers, my viewers, whoever needs to receive this message at this time. What is the day about? And what advice do we need to make the most of it? Okay, I was gonna pull one, but there we go. All right, so let's see what we have. First card, influence of the past on our current situation or how we start the day as we're coming into the day. We have the five of wands, so there could be some ta tension, some chaos, some conflict. Um, this is, everyone wants to be heard, no one's really listening though. Um, type of type of interaction it could be some sort of um, playing games it could be some sort of competitive energy or it just could be bickering play fighting or like I say everyone just wants to get their point across and they're not really interested <laughs> in what anyone else has to say so in today's energy we have the magician this feels like a conversation or, um, okay, let's just stop the fighting. Let's stop being immature. Let's stop the pettiness. Okay, I don't know if this is a like an, an authority figure that's being brought in to judge a situation or to arbitrate somehow or to pick a winner. I don't know. Um, or if this is mediation or if this is negotiation. But it feels like some sort of open, honest conversation or someone taking charge and going, I'm speaking now, you shut up and listen, and then you can have a go. I don't know. But it's some sort of conversation. Or an interview. Or this is some sort of application process, this is interview. Where are things gonna go? We have the Four of Swords. Peace being restored, um, a pause in the conflict. Whether that means everyone gets along or whether that means people go into their respective corners, but peace is restored somehow. This could also be someone removing themselves from a situation with the Magician and the Five of Wands here because it's costing them their peace of mind and it's like this has been going on forever, I'm over it, I'm done with it. Because there is some sort of change that is sparking this chaos. There is some sort of change that is triggering someone or some people. And with the magician, this could be something you're initiating or this could be a decision you're making towards a new beginning for yourself. Either you've uh, been in some sort of training program or you've been in a phase where you've been observing others and learning from others and just practicing and learning as you go and now you're in a place of 
either it's graduation or you feel like, okay, I know enough, I feel ready enough to go out on my own. So you're going into some sort of preparation, preparation stage, okay? You're stepping away from a group, a dynamic, whatever this is, to take some time to contemplate, integrate what you've learned and prepare for your next steps. It, this for others could be leaving a conflict that's just never gonna change. It's almost like whenever you have an opinion, it, it, there has to be a fight. Whenever you have a different opinion to someone, it, there has to be a fight. Whenever you try to speak up and bring something to the table, it, it has to be chaos, conflict, tension, and this could be with a person, with a, a family dynamic, with a group of people, and you're saying, you know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna go and do it myself. I'm not even gonna talk to you about it because I know what's gonna happen. That always happens. So it's a case of thinking to yourself, you know what, I can't, these, are, I can't talk to this person or I can't talk to these people. There's always a fuss with them. There's always chaos with them. I just need, I just need to get this done. I just want to get this done. So that could mean you stepping away from someone or you stepping away from a dynamic or a group and saying, you know what, I don't actually need that. They just bring chaos and tension and conflict. It's nothing constructive. It's nothing creative. And I'm wasting my time and wasting my energy there. So that could be how you get your peace back, right? Oracle energy, rose quartz and olive tree. Speaking of peace, right? Alchemy of love, peace offering, compassion, Venus energy. There we go. Really nice, isn't it? With the magician, it can be some sort of peace offering. It can be someone trying to talk to you with an apology, I'm seeing someone bringing you flowers. I'm seeing someone trying to, yeah, to apologize somehow after a conflict. Peace is restored, whether that means you forgive the person um, and you just pick up where you left off, or you meet, or this means you forgive the person and then you just release the situation and you move on on your own. It'll be different for everyone. Okay, but yeah, this is someone choosing peace. This is someone choosing peace, whether that means, listen, I have to step away from you to get peace, or that means we can figure out a way to get peace together. For others of you, you could be asked to mediate a situation. You could be asked to be the impartial judge or the, the arbitrator to help bring peace in a dynamic. Could also be the case. So let's see what our fortune cookie is for the day. Fortune cookie message for the day. We have property. A property purchase or sale for money, but heed security concerns in any transaction. So that could be a standalone message. For those of you, this could be a family dynamic or even at work um, or even friends. I don't know. It's almost like it's either people fighting over you, like who gets to be around you, who gets to be with you. Um, people trying to get you to work for them and there's competition for you or this is a case of arguments over inheritance property who gets what if this is a division of assets type of situation right this is saying you know what I don't want to deal with you myself you're not trying to be constructive here you're not you're just trying to create chaos I'm gonna get an, a, an impartial judge to represent me that gives me my peace of mind and then everything's going to be divided fairly and, and accurately. You know, that could be the situation. We have achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. I still get an energy of there's something positive coming in for you that other people around you have opinions about. It's not... <laughs> It's not about them, but you know, that's just how people are. And so that could be something where you're saying, listen, I tried to, it's like you're receiving something, some sort of new beginning. If it's a new job, if you're starting a new relationship, if you're starting a new business, if you're receiving recognition somehow and there's op opportunities opening up to you and you're trying to tell a person or a group of people and have a peaceful transition of saying, listen, I've got this now, I'm going to be focusing on this. I'm not going to be around as much or I can't work for you anymore or I can't be with you anymore or whatever the situation is. And 
that just brings nothing but chaos and conflict when it's not even about them. Does that make sense? And so you're saying, well, I tried. If that's how you're going to be about it, good luck to you. Um, I'm just going to go. I choose my peace. And I'm going to have this new beginning for myself because I work very hard for it. You know? It could be starting a new relationship and people are gossiping about it. It could be starting a new friendship and people are gossiping about it. Because there's a new source of love in your life, love and abundance. So that could be actual romantic love or it could be, like I say, a, a new person in terms of a friendship or a business partner or a business opportunity or a job or doing something you love. Okay? Pursuing your own path towards what you love. That's the magician with this oracle energy. And other people have opinions about it. And you're saying, listen, if that's how you feel about it, that's how you feel. I'm still going. <laughs> you know, it's type of situation. If you want to come with me, you got to contribute. You don't want to contribute and you just bring chaos and conflict. You can't come. Sorry. Thank you and good night. Right? That's your approach. Because above all, you're very protective of your peace and you're very protective of this opportunity that you have worked very hard for and you've created for yourself. You've manifested, you've worked for, you know. So that's what I'm seeing today. You're at ease and you're at peace. You're in balance because you know you're following the right path. And this is something you love. And that's all, you, that's all you, that your mind is made up. That's all you care about, right? Because you want dynamics and situations and environments in your life that bring you peace and creativity bring you peace and growth development love flow and that means you're gonna leave some other things behind that don't mesh with that right so that is what i have for us today let me know how i resonate with the reading if you do have a great day ahead. Have a wonderful year ahead. And I'll see you uh, next year, I guess, right? Which is tomorrow. So I'll leave it there. Bye for now.